Capricorn, welcome to your weekly energy reading. My name is Anya Briggs. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I don't use any divination tools. I'm a psychic medium. What you see is what you get. If you like what you hear, ingest, imbibe, uh, instill, anything that inspires you, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help get the message out there to other people who might benefit from hearing it. And I thank you in advance. Thank you, thank you. Um, this is for the week of September 1st through the 7th, 2020. These sheets are dry, but my eyes aren't. Oh, I'm sorry, Capricorn. If you're having a rough time, uh, let me help sort it out for you. Maybe I can smooth out those sheets a little bit if they're rough. Um, the feeling that permeates this reading is envy, Capricorn. You're not getting what you want and you have it so good and yet I want what other people have. Why is it so hard? Um, I don't know why this, what this feeling is, but it does feel like a drag. Like life has been disappointing for some of you. It hasn't met your standards. And the feeling is one of, I'd like to speak to the manager, but this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> But the antidote could help you where you are without much, if any change to your circumstances. Um, the magic potion is, are you ready? Gratitude. I know you don't want to hear that. I think you're feeling particularly bitter right now. And when I, when I wrote this the other day, you were feeling kind of sad, but now it's kind of eclipsed into maybe bitterness. And you need to keep a gratitude journal. It will help bring perspective to your circumstances. I promise you, this probably is not what you want to hear right now, but I'm being guided to say this. So there it goes. Do with that what you will. Um, if something's now keep in mind, this could be the situations reversed. And this is someone you're talking to or someone in your life who has expressed this or is feeling this, or you sense this, they may maybe have stopped talking to you because maybe they're jealous of you. I don't know what this is. But just keep that in mind. This is a general reading. It's not going to apply to everyone, but this is the feeling, the general feeling I'm getting from Capricorn right now. And um, if something strikes you as odd, whether with someone else or yourself, explain that its oddness escapes you, but thanks, thank it for the mystery and wonder it creates rather than handing it all to you on a silver platter. Not everything is supposed to be explained to you ad infinitum in detail every single nuance and fact um or this other person or people that are doing this to you perhaps but you know if someone is rude to you mention in your gratitude journal the number of lessons learned from people who teach us how not to be that too could be a source of gratitude believe it or not and so on your gratitude surplus is running low is what I'm getting. Or again, this other person in your life might be doing this to you. And it looks like it's going to be a while before the next run. So you need to stock up, gather supplies, and go on a gratitude run because it's a long haul with not that many stops in sight and you're driving all night through this mess, so stock up. And I feel like you're doing that right now, like you're doing some soul searching right now, to which I would say bravo. Um, I'm being shown a highway in the day. It looks like the American Southwest or the Californian desert, and there's not much there. It's just a wide open stretch of a two lane road and no road stops, not even a convenience store, just wide open space air and land, flat scrub, really. A lot of time to think, feel, dream. The air is salty, might be near the Salton Sea. Is that in Nevada? I think it's in California, I'm not sure. Okay, so it's Californian desert. A spiritual anomaly is nearby, my guides were saying. You might wanna check it out, a spiritual anomaly. I don't know what that means, but it might have personal significance for you. So it's like a geographic location that is also known for its spiritual benefits. I like that term, it's provocative. And when you're ready to come up for air, uh, we'll be there, the guides are saying. And they were saying, Amen, Adonai, Amen, all is one, all is God. As like a prayer or like a blessing, like to remind us of the unity field that we all live in. The quantum verse is bigger than we expect or even can contemplate fully. 
and to understand that we have been here before and we will be here again. And that um, they're saying reincarnation is real. Don't doubt it. But that the lifetime you are in is not a throwaway. It's not a takeout container that you just toss in a bin. It's um, sacred. Each life is a lesson and each lesson plan is sacred. Okay, and it, each one builds on another it, it links in a chain and cannot be broken. No matter what you do to your own physical life, you have to understand this metaphysical reality. And it's proud of you for sticking around and not giving up and not giving in. And we appreciate and respect that. And we hope if you're feeling low or in the doldrums to remember that life is on a continuum and nothing is in a vacuum when it comes to spirituality, nothing. And, um, you know, this, this visual metaphor again is, is uh, bringing them to say, gratitude is a muscle that must be flexed. When there's not much around, thank the barren landscape for clarifying without distraction what you really need. Thank the absence of stimuli. Um, Thank the brush for being naturally low so you can see what's coming um, from a hundred yards or more away. Clear that deck. Get rid of that dead wood, you know? Um, the feeling from this metaphor is that rather than despair, thank the thing for clarifying what you want. That's what it's forcing you to do. That tension is creating a clarification for you if you choose to look at it if you choose to accept it. Obstacles are opportunities right now for you, they are saying. This goes the same whether you were the one who fired or are doing the firing, clearing the deadwood from the path. So it also feels like maybe there was a termination of employment recently for one or more of you that had to do with clearing the dead wood, literally or figuratively, if that was a phrase you heard or something like that, getting rid of dead weight could be another one. Um, you're clearing the path, literally, which means cleaning up detritus, whether at home, employees from your job, whatever, that physically holds you back, okay? And continuing on the work metaphor, the phrase, too many cooks spoiling the soup also comes up. Uh, and is making me think of job redundancy and good. I mean, I know that's de classe of me to say that. It's not, especially in times like this, but um, whomever this was who you had to fire, if you were in that position, they were a buffoon and holding your job back, okay? Uh, the energy is you had to do this. He was inept, the time was right, and he was holding you back. So chop, chop, chop the dead wood, they're saying. And you two were never gonna see eye to eye if you had to work closely together or even just some kind of significant amount of time together. You were never gonna see eye to eye about anything anyway because both of your philosophies about life, work, approach to the job were so fundamentally different, it would have made it impossible to work together anyway. And that's basically the message for this week. Um, Capricorn, if you're feeling guilt about having to fire someone, don't. I mean, the phrase I keep getting, the word I keep getting is buffoon. This person was a buffoon. So if it was a boss who fired you, they were a buffoon too. Okay, so keep in mind the tables could be turned. Just getting, if it has to do with termination of employment, whether you're doing the firing or the other person, whatever the situation is individually, that person is better off out of your life. I promise you, your life, your quality of life will get better. And I wish you wellness. I hope you have a good week. Blessings, and I'll speak with you soon.